How did cats become domesticated? The domestic cat, Felis catus, is one of the most recently evolved species within the Felidae family. All cats have evolved as predatory hunting mammals with particularly keen senses of hearing, sight, and smell. The widespread migration of ancestral cats was probably made easier by their natural behavior to disperse and seek their own territory, and also the need to follow the prey species they hunted on. Felidae are the most highly developed carnivorous hunters of all mammalian species. With the exception of lions, which live in groups, all other wild cats have developed as solitary animals with the ability to hunt and fend for themselves. Cats have developed a wide range of coat colors. Under natural conditions, these are adaptations to allow the cat to be camouflaged and assist its hunting lifestyle. Evolution and Adaptation of Felis Catus Coexistence of cats and humans is evident from fossil records from early human settlements, although these have been assumed to be wild cats. The development of true domestication, or perhaps more accurately, taming of cats, was previously thought to have occurred in Egypt around 3,600 years ago. Skulls of cats found in Egyptian cat burial grounds, called Mao by the Egyptians, have been identified as mainly being of the species Felis sylvestris libica, the African wildcat, and it is this wildcat living in Asia and North Africa that is now thought to have been the major ancestor of the modern-day Felis catus. However, more recent evidence shows that feline domestication probably occurred about 10,000 years ago or more in the Middle East, in the region of the Fertile Crescent. The earliest true record of domestication comes from a cat that was found deliberately buried with its owner in a grave in Cyprus some 9,500 years ago, and it is assumed that domestication will have begun some time before this as there were no native cats on Cyprus. Genetic analysis has demonstrated that the DNA of modern-day domestic cats throughout the world is almost identical to that of Felis sylvestris libica, clearly showing that it is this species that gave rise to our domestic cats. Domestication of the cat Felis catus as a species has thus arisen through wild cats living closely with humans. However, this should not be regarded as domestication in the same way that dogs and other animals have been domesticated. In general, cats have not undergone major changes during domestication, and their form and behavior remain very similar to that of their wild cat ancestors. They remain perfectly capable of surviving in the wild, and indeed many revert to a feral or wild existence. The two main theories surrounding the domestication of cats are that either the original wild cats, Felis sylvestris libica, were deliberately tamed and selected for friendliness, or that rather than being specifically selected, they were more tolerated by humans and gradually diverged from their wild relatives through natural selection and adaptation to hunting the vermin found around human settlements. The latter is probably more likely, at least in the early stages of taming, as other animals such as ferrets and dogs would actually have been much more effective and efficient if human control of vermin had been the purpose. In either scenario, several traits of cats, including their small size, social nature, body language, love of play, high intelligence, and perhaps an inborn tendency among all small felids towards tameness, may have facilitated their domestication. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.